So hello, and I will take these uh, 10 minutes to give you an overview what a code coverage analyzer is or what our code coverage analyzer is, how it works, and, and give you a preview of uh, results it, you can achieve with that. So let's go uh, into the presentation. Uh, here are five bullet points. And there are lots of code coverage analyzer results in Google. And you see a lot of, of them out there. And these five bullet points make the difference maybe to other things. So if you say, okay, one of these points, that's what I need, then you're right with us. Let's jump into it. So our code coverage analyzer works with all embedded targets or is for all embedded targets. That means that you are enabled to run the tests on your target, not on a host only. So we use the method of instrument the code and wherever this application runs and even on a, on a microcontroller, uh, when it's running, you can gain coverage data. The second point, it's, it works with every compiler, cross compiler. It has to work with cross compilers as well to, to make an application on your uh, target. Uh, but that also means that it's not dedicated to a single compiler or to a unit test framework or whatever. So, but it's designed, TestWell CDC++, to work in almost every environment. It's done by configuration. And as this uh, product is in the market since 30 years, already we have a lot of setups of such configurations so that we expect that you get it up and running very quickly, even if it's based on configuration of your compiler, of your build environment, and so on. And the second point with, with, this, with this is uh, that you do not have to purchase for each compiler for each target. If you decide to use TestWell CDC++ so within the licenses, you can use this with every compiler you make it work, or for every target that it works with. So it's, it's not bound to any other product around uh, in your tool chain. It's compliant to safety critical standards. That means so what Martin mentioned is with code coverage, we get a method to, to uh, measure completeness of, of tests somehow. And depending on the safety class of your product, uh, you have to achieve different levels of code coverage. And all these levels mentioned in the safety critical standards can be covered by our tool. So it's depending on what, what you're choosing. Uh, yeah, and it's all in. Uh, the fourth point is an advantage that CDC++ works with low instrumentation overhead. As we support the execution of instrumented code on a target, we see that we have limitations uh, in memory in, in such uh, devices. That's why we have to take care that we don't have too much code bloat, that it can run on almost every target, but we also have uh, different methods to run different workflows. So depending on the capabilities of your target, on the limitations of your target, we can adjust the way we measure code coverage. So it it's, works quite good with uh, limited devices, but for sure you need some extra space to bring in the instrumented code that it's a little bit more code than your original code. CDC++ works with uh, C and C++ as the language where we can measure code coverage. That's the, the main focus of the tool and it's in, in the embedded market. It's the, yeah, it's 90% it's of the projects are in C or C++. Um, we have add-ons to enable measurement on Java code and C sharp code. So if you have, um, some code beside your project uh, with these languages, then you're welcome to, um, to take a look at CDC++ and use it for these languages as well. So there's a lot about targets on this slide, but if you don't have an embedded target, you, you want to measure code coverage on a host, for sure you can use CDC++, but it's not, it's not the disadvantage or where it is designed for, but it works. So, but there are a lot of other tools around uh, in the world where that you can maybe use. So how does it work? How do we measure code coverage? How do we do white box uh, testing? 
Uh, when we talk about test plus CDC plus plus, it sounds like, okay, this is a product. I have a setup and I have one tool. Maybe it has a UI, but it's not that way. It's a collection of a lot of tools. And that's for good reason, because uh, at the end, we execute command line based tools that are easily integratable in your development tool chain. And when I, in the next slide, I, I show you in a sample how we do this. So, but when we look on the development tool chain from our tools perspective, then we can say it's, it's done within uh, three stages, three steps. And the three steps are before and after testing. And the very important thing and the very good benefit of Testwell CDC++ is that we don't care about testing. So it's all about testing. We measure how your test flows through your application, but we don't care how you test. So we can use it for, for unit tests, for, for integration tests, for whatever unit test for work you have, or even for, for system tests, it would work. Testwell CC++ only takes care for the first step before the test, that's the instrumentation, that's when we compile the code. But then you see in, in the blue box, some names of, of tools that are inside this collection. Then you do the test with this prepared code. And at the end, we collect all the results and build some reports. And now let's, let's have a look how this works. So this is a normal way how you develop your code. On the left-hand side, you have some source code. We will compile this code to an application. Let's say it's a Hello World exe. Uh, you do some tests, you have some tests, and the tests fail or they, they pass. Um, so, and at that point, it's interesting, and Martin mentioned it already in his uh, part of the presentation. We don't talk about the result of a test case. Is it a good test case, a bad test case? Is the application good or bad? Doesn't matter when we measure code coverage. This is for another purpose. We look if the tests cover your code. So if all tests fail, you still would have some code coverage. So these are different things. So on our purpose is to see, okay, is this code touched by some tests? Is every, is every code touched? Okay, now we come, uh, we, we wanna do some code coverage measurement. Then we use, let's say here, the tool CDC to instrument our code. What is instrumentation? Instrumentation is that we inject something in your code, in a copy of your code, to make it visible that the test touched this part of the code. And let's, let's have this sample. Uh, we have a decision if A is lower than 10, and this is modified and extended to the code below. So you see the original code is still in there, as we have to ensure that the instrumented application works the same way as the original application. But it's extended by with a ternary operator in that case uh, of a decision here. Uh, and we count the, the truth counters and the false counters. So whenever this is true, a lower 10, then the first one would be incremented other, or the second one if it's false. So the function of the lines of the codes is the same, but it has an additional, additional ability to count. And this is, here you can exactly see what is the instrumentation overhead. The first part is the thing we introduce into the code. And then we compile this modified code. We put it in, in a file, what, what we did. And the second part of the instrumentation overhead is, is a runtime component that makes, it, uh, makes the tool able to count. So now in the second step, you do your testing. And with the testing, it's automatically counted. And after the testing in the third phase, we use tools to build reports based on what we instrumented and what we have counted. And we can do this, uh, uh, the result can be an XML report, for instance, uh, where you can um, proceed with the result. Maybe you want to have, you have a dashboard in your build system and your CI, and you want to show some figures somewhere in a graph. Then you can build an XML report and, and do some coding on this. Or we talked about uh, white box testing and we want to see, do we have enough tests? Then we usually create 
as a result an, an HTML report that combines our test results with the original source code. In the next slide, we see here now how it can look like. So this is an overview report about a regulator C file. And we have instrumented for multi-condition, that's a very high a level of, of instrumentation, of co-coverage level. On the right-hand side, you see the functions, lights, closed windows, that are inside this regulator C file. And the bars, they show how much uh, coverage we have achieved. Let's say for the function lights, it looks like we have 75% achieved for multi-condition coverage. And the 75% is the result of, we have six out of eight. So what's the six out of eight? When we drill down, so we have a link on the lights, uh, on, on the function name, we can drill down to the source code. And now you see already that we have some uh, background colors here in, in the source code where we can easily see the green ones. Yeah, it's easy, it's executed. The red ones, it's not executed. And we have some figures here on the left-hand side. And when we, we count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, these are the eight counters we have inside there. And we see that, that six ones are greater than zero, but we have two red zeros here. So we, our tests are not enough to achieve coverage because we need some more tests to get these zeros something bigger than zero. So, okay, what happened? What can we learn from this report? Okay, there's a function light within regulator C that was 14 times called. And this function lights has an argument called goal. And then we have some decisions here based on this argument goal. So uh, if goal is off, so, oh, the, on the left-hand side, we see nobody turned the lights off. It was never true. It was 14 times false. Okay, easy. We need a test where we say lights turn goals off. And then the next line would be green and this counter would be one with this single test. But then we still have not coverage as we have a kind of a hidden branch because we have here the argument goal with three possible values off, on and dimmed. But let's say you call this lights function with something else than the three values. And this is the test case you would need in addition to achieve 100% coverage for this function in this C file. And that's the way you do uh, work with the result. Okay. When we take test for CC++ in the middle and look around in, in, in the landscape a little bit, what, what we have there, there are a lot of IDEs. So if the developer wants to do code coverage or invoke this within his uh, environment, he has a yeah, workbench or Visual Studio or Eclipse or something else, it's easy to, we have prepared such things, but it's easy to build such things as well. You can integrate it into your workflows. Um, doesn't matter if you run it on, on your machine, if you have uh, continuous integration on, on the build uh, server in the cloud, wherever. And as we mentioned in the first slide, it's for all targets and, and all compilers. If you're interested, so how, how can you start uh, with such a tool? We, you do not need to fill out a 10 pages form to, to say, okay, can I do this and that? Um, our approach is different. We, we have, you know, on our webpage, you will, you will find a form and you can say, okay, I want to do it. I have some time. That's what the only cost you have is your time. You need a project to verify the result you want to achieve, and then you can start. And we offer a free tool evaluation with a full support. And that's for some time, let's say two, three weeks, you can test with the tools. And from our experience, this is enough time to get confidence if this is the right tool for your purpose.